be determined that we will never let their memory fade, those with whom you knew and served and sacrificed, and that we will do everything we can to ensure that this country is safe, okay. is free, and honors those who have fallen and those whom we've welcomed home. Thank you and God bless you. So thank you all for coming. Thank you for being here. It's just great to see a good turnout today. And always remember the ones that have passed on and always remember the families that were left behind carrying on with the duties of every day. Thank you. 1950 on the 25th of June. During that time, I was a young 22 year old good looking man. And I don't look so bad right now. I looked in the mirror this morning. <laughs> General Douglas MacArthur made during flank attacks by C. at Inchon. Sewell retaken. I guess that was a little while after I was been in there. And the rest of my time was in the kitchen. No map reading, nothing like that. <clears throat> In the meantime, I was a little mischievous young man. I did some of this, did some of that. So every Friday night, the young cook stayed. See that the, the, the kitchen, the clean the wooden floors. We had a coal stove. See that the kitchen gets cleaned up and GI. The next morning we, we failed inspection. Sergeant Mason come over. Get your old A A out of the bunk and go around and G I that floor. What's the matter, Sarge? We failed inspection, that's what's the matter. So that was on his gig list, on the first sergeant's gig list. And I was the first one on the list to go to Korea. And what kind of training I had to go to Korea doing any fighting. I didn't even fight home. <laughs> Fought with my brother. That's all. And he was a young boxer. And <clears throat> went into Korea. <clears throat> so I would get advanced, <clears throat> advanced training at Camp Stoneman, California. Four days on the USS Butner into Camp Drake, Japan. About, on what, about nine days? Well, getting no training in Japan. Got off the U.S. Butner on the U.S.S. Black into Incheon, Korea. And we hear all this boom, the bang, the bang, and the going on. I said, damn, they're bumming us or bumming close to us. Had the M1s, no, no ammunition in them. <laughs> I mean, what's that good? So, we was on the you know, LSTs. But what it was, the big steel doors are banging up the side of one another. <laughs> That's what we thought was bumming. And we waded through the water up on the shore. I got some pictures you can see after a while. Time to look at those pictures. I get butterflies. And not knowing the training that I had, and I'm going to the front. So we went up to Young Dong Pole, truck stopped in the store, is it? Hundreds, hundreds of trucks. I'm the only one, my name was called when he got in the store. And the guy standing there waiting for me. My name is Sergeant Grimes, in a bummed out schoolhouse. Hello, Private Richardson. Okay. Went up on the third floor, that was the kitchen. So now I know what I, why I was winning in Korea. Where'd you come from? I come from Fort Bragg. Who were your mess sergeant? Sergeant Mason. Big dark skin yet fellow? Yeah. Well, he just left here two months ago. We glad that he, he was gone. So my, uh, the highlights of the time when I was in Korea, one of the highlights was we served chow in a tent. But I don't know how in the heck did we make it getting up out of your 
warm tent and going in the cold kitchen. Two field rings on each end, two field rings on each end. And we had scrambled eggs every morning. We had powdered eggs. Well, we got them a damn good meal, I think. Nobody went hungry. So one day the truck pulled up to the CP. The runner came over and said, Five minutes and I wonder if we have child farmers here. Sure, come on in. They come on in. The guys come through the line with one black fella. He looked at me and I looked at him. He went on out. He come back in and said, Richardson. It was Charles, it was Urban Barry from Delaware, one of my old running mates. But he enlisted before.